What I told her, I, I told, I'm gonna tell you, this is what I told her. I said, Mama Bear, listen, I need him here because I don't have, I need him here. That's what I told her, basically. What do I have to do to get him here? And she was basically telling me about the um the price and the write-up and how much he normally charge. I told her off rip, I don't have no money, but I can go out here and try to get this money if I can guarantee him to be here. And then she told me that, well, okay, it's going to be 8000 then plus the write-up. And I really don't understand the game when it comes to the write-up. And I told her that part, too. And then she told me, well, it'd be like an extra write-up. The write-up just like I told her yesterday, the write-up the hotel and travel. Right, that's what you told me. I mean, you told me. You told me this. I'm like I told you, I didn't know. So basically, I told like I told you, and I told her. I'm, I don't have nothing. I'm I'm on Lucy money right now. I'm smoking fifty cent cigarettes, and I normally buy packs. I just lost twenty thousand dollars on on the event. Got beat by a cracker. Excuse my language, but I, you know what I mean. Um, I'm going through a whole bunch of issues when it comes down to it. When I when I do my events, if y'all ever did, did any type of research on me, you'll see when I do my events, man. My events are straight from the hip, dude. They, the kids get on the stage, they rock out. I don't make no money, no money at all, but I still get the big stage because of who I am and, you know what I mean, me being a non-profit. And at the same time, letting the kids get on there, like from City Hall and stuff like that. But I don't make, as a matter of fact, I still owe City Hall right now, 1500 but the mayor wrote it off as a, you know what I mean, as a loss because we was a non-profit. More of the story is this. I'm trying to build this program. I'm trying to get these kids some inspiration. I've been doing this for a couple of years now with no money, no help, no fed funds, nothing. Straight coming out of pocket, losing everything. Done lost cribs, done lost marriages, relationships, the whole nine. Behind this program I'm trying to build. And now I'm at the point where it's either go all in or go the fuck home. So I want X here. I need to find a way to get him here. I ain't got nothing, but I can try to wait, find a way to get that shit. I got kids in Florida depending on me. I got kids in Connecticut depending on me. So, you feel me? I'm kind of fucked up, but I need shit done. And that's straight emotions. That ain't no bullshit. And I apologize for how I'm speaking. But I'm, I'm like, my back against the wall right now. Yeah, I'm good with that. We'll make it happen, man. All right, my boy. I'll let you know. Let me know, man. I appreciate everything, man. What do I mean? You said make it make it happen. What you mean, man? I mean, I understand. Are you gonna make it happen? You gonna try? He said, he said, he said, eight thousand. I'm saying, if I gotta get eight thousand, I gotta get eight thousand. I don't know how fast I'm gonna get a deposit, but if we looking at ticket sales and, and um getting on the grind right now, and I got the okay right now, I'm gonna make sure that man walk away with eight grand in his pocket. We talking about fourteen hundred seats. Got forty dollars tickets or however it may be. He gonna walk away with eight grand in his pocket no matter how it go. I'm not no grimy ass nigga by far. I'm real ass nigga in these streets and I do this shit for real. For real, for real. And that's why I dig that nigga and that's why I listen to his music. I don't play no games when it comes down to this shit. This is what I live for. I die for this shit too at the same time. So if the nigga gotta walk away with eight grand, he gonna walk away with eight grand. All right, Pippin, I appreciate that, man. All right, peace. I mean, we, so Connecticut. I mean, Connecticut and New Jersey. I mean, like this, this is no. It shouldn't be an issue for him doing this show. It doesn't have nothing to do on the 18th. That, let me tell you, boss man. Let me tell you. Me and um, when when I first con when I did a video the very first time it came out, it said um, I wanted DMX to come and holler at us this that, and the third. Right. I got a phone call back and um, basically got on the phone with Montana. I told Montana what was going on. Montana told me um, the show that we already had was already set for the 19th. We, I did a little research, you know what I mean? 
I went to the client center myself, went down there and switched the date to the 18th just to accommodate to make sure that DMX can actually come to the um, venue. So right. when, when I did all these other extra things, you know what I mean, um, and um, basically Montana was like, well, yeah, you know X is going to be in the neighborhood, so maybe we could just shoot through and holler at you real quick and don't really be no big issue with the, um, with, with the pricing and charge and stuff like that because it's for the kids. As time was right. going on, time was going on, time was going on, no, I didn't never get a response, you know what I mean? So then that's when um, Joseph basically put me in contact with Mama Bear. And then that's when me and Mama Bear started talking back and forth because, like I said, I heard a thousand times that X management team was wasn't on point. So my thing was, I don't care what well, I hear. The thing is, the thing is, I mean, and I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. Like I'm a straight shooter. The thing is, he does he, he instead of enforcing your role, he lets people run rapid. You know, which what he doesn't realize it makes him look bad. You know, like I'm not gonna lie. I was so glad I had nothing to do with it. Especially when I saw the video, I was like, man, I'm so glad I had nothing to do with that, you know, because I don't like being involved in the confusion. Right. right. You know, and, and the thing is, is that, you know, if people would play that position instead of trying to take someone else's position, mm -hmm. you know, but people want to try to be big dogs and this and that or whatever, and it, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me one way or another the, the road to me and him go. Like, that's my boy. I love him. That's why I put the video out there because it's like, man, I'm tired of going through the loops, um, through, through, through the loops with these kids and everybody wanting to come. And now I got, I just got the phone with the police department, honestly, um, trying to do the security for them. You, you feel me? And it's like I'm doing all this extra stuff, and I still haven't got a response from them. And I now, now I asked Mama Bear about two days ago. I said, listen, man, before I even put the video up, I said, can I just talk to X personally? She said, about what? I said, like, she said, first, first of all, she told me he don't talk on the phone. I said, well, listen, man. I done dealt with you, I done dealt with Montana, I done dealt with Joseph. I said, I done put all this work in, you feel me? And y'all asking for this money to come across the wire. And I can't talk to nobody. When I'm a non-profit, I don't have this type of money. But I had investors. Don't, don't, don't send that money to none of them. And I'm going to try to put you on the phone with X, and you send the money to wherever X tells you to send it to. And, and you know, and, and that's the way that y'all do it. If not, I'm going to send you the money. Okay. He said the same. His words was the same thing. His words. Was, he said the same thing about it. But the same thing. You got to remember, man. I'm on the outside looking in, and and the only reason I wanted that cat here so bad is because I do respect him and his music and all that other extra stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like. Right. And, and the thing is, you, you get so much bad rap about people, and people do the same thing about me. And on the other hand, you know what I mean? They give me a bad rap. So I always go right. for the underdogs. And the thing is, is, I know I put my work in the streets with these kids every day. You feel me? So, and I know he right. do the same thing. He put his work in what he do. And the thing is, no matter what we go through in life, nigga, we still trying to trying to get the get kids and give the people that we love a chance to, you know what I mean, do something different. You feel me? Exactly. Um, just like with Mama Bear. If she if she just getting on the team and trying to put some work in, that's somebody giving her a chance. You feel me? If he opened up the doors and let... I 
that's all. That's the bottom line. I'm with you, homie. I'm with you. I want to win too. So you, I mean, me and that nigga in the same shoes right now. You feel me? We both the underdogs in our situation. I'm the underdog in the nonprofit situation and dealing with these kids on the streets. And I'm pretty sure he's trying to make his move back into the music game. You feel me? So, I mean. The, the, the combination the combination would have been excellent, you feel me? Because the, the things that I do out here and the kids I deal with is walking in his shoes when he was a jet, you feel me? So it's it's it would have been a perfect, a perfect, perfect type of situation to bring everybody together and, and everybody would have got all the um the recognition they needed because I had ten cats coming from ten um uh, from ten different states and was looking to get media from all those areas, you know? Um even right. dealing with now even dealing with the um the uh the music industries and stuff like that, getting the different radio stations to acknowledge what we was doing. You know what I mean? A different type of uh, uh, everything. You know, what I mean? anything that you can think about to get the press and the acknowledgement to see that this cat came to Bridgeport and really did something for these kids here and let these kids know that is it is a different life out there. And we all do make mistakes. You know what I mean? But don't don't stop trying exactly. what you got to do. You feel me? Right. So, yeah. so look, I want to try to talk to him. I'm gonna try to get him later this afternoon. Right. Um, when he gets up moving around, um, I'm gonna try to get him to come What's your name again? Jason. Jason, all right, all right, cool, cool. Yeah, so you've been telling that we talked, um, and I'm trying to get him on the phone personally with you um, at today, and right. then you know y'all can go from there. I'll let y'all do talk, and y'all decide how y'all want to do it, and y'all are going to do it, and so forth. You know, I know that, like I said, I have heard about it. Montana told me about it, and then he told me once Mama Bear got involved, he just stepped back away from it. He said he didn't want nothing to do. I mean, I respect that. You feel me? The thing is, is that um, is that you know, you got to remember my side of the fence. You know, right now with the thing with Toast Place and everything like that that went down like that, he got a real bad noise. I mean, a real bad name. With what's going on? So. And to be honest, that really didn't have a lot to do with X. That had more to do with the people that that was doing all the tour and the time that they were doing. Mm. Right. So that really had, it really didn't have a lot to do with X, 100% honest, you know, um, with anything, but, you know, like that would be, more about fault, but maybe I dropped the ball on some things, as far as not staying on top of the tour as much as I should have, because I had other things going on. Right. But, I, I wouldn't blame that on the tour, like, I don't, I don't blame him on it, because I don't think that he was doing anything And see, that was the whole thing. You know, you got to remember this too. Um, even looking at that situation, him coming to Bridgeport, that right there will clear fly a lot of that stuff. You feel me? Like, hey, that was just a mistake, nigga. They, and nobody really ain't got to take the blame on that one. We here now, and this is what we're doing. You feel me? There's so many different ways, man, um, that, that things can be done to, to um, rectify different situations. So nobody, at the end of the day, look like the asshole when we all trying to do the same thing and accomplish the same thing. You know what I mean? So, um, so, so, yeah, man, it was good talking to you. Like I said, I didn't see the video. Actually, one of my own line guys sent it to me. I was like, yeah, I know about it. I said, I wasn't having, I didn't have nothing to do with it. You know, I heard about it. Once Montana told me about it, I was like, all right, cool, you're going to make it happen. And Montana was trying to make it happen, and then I guess Carolyn got involved, and it was just... Yeah, Joseph, I Joseph, is, huh? I don't know if you know who Joseph is, but Joseph the one who called um, Mama Bear. And that's, and that's Joseph is a dude that works for is a publisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and, and the thing is, like, I don't even know where some of these people be coming from. Like, I'm gonna be a hundred percent. It sounds crazy for me saying that. Like, as his manager, like, it just sounds, it sounds stupid, like, to even be able to, you know, to say that. But that's the truth. Like, I don't know where. I, I, I just, I don't get it. You know, I don't get why he deals with some of the people that he deals with. Mm. You know, but he does, and because it's him, I give them the respect because it's him. Right. Other than that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care nothing about him. You know, but because it is him, I try to respect the situation and not really voice my opinion. Right. Unless there is something that needs to be done and so forth. But you know, I mean, the thing is, right now, you know, this is a good call. If we can work it out, he's going to be in the area anyway. So I don't see why we can't work it out or whatever to where. 
say this without speaking to him, so I could be totally wrong, but I'm going to talk with him, and then I'm going to call you back. Uh, so if I call you back, I'll have him on the phone probably. I appreciate that, homie, man. Thanks so much for getting back at me, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. We'll try to get it worked out, man. And, you know, sorry for the confusion or whatever. And um, like I said, the only person that I deal with that you've talked to is really Montana. Okay. Like, that's my guy. Mm. Like, he, he's, a, he's a pretty straight up dude, so other than that, like, that's really the only person I deal with that, as far as the ones he mentioned. I really wasn't trying to disrespect nobody in the video. I was just telling somebody to get at me, man, and let's clarify this. You feel me? Because I don't want to be the asshole at the end of the day. And that's why I had to put it out. And I'm going to keep it real. I told Mama Bear I was going to put the video out before I put it out. You know what I mean? I was like, man, just get the man on the phone to talk to me. She couldn't even do that. So. But see, that, that's the bad part is that you told her. Yeah. Like, I told if her. If you want to call me and be like, yo, I'm going to put a video out on your man. I need to talk to your man. You know, uh, you know the video is going to kind of make the whole situation look crazy. I, I told her, yeah, I told her, I told her and Joseph. That's what she said, she said, I'm going to try to, but what you want, she said, what you want to talk to him about? I said, I want to talk to him about the event, the program, and what I'm trying to do, and why I don't have the type of bread that's in him right now. How if he, can we work something out? Let me get a drop, you know what I mean? And then if I can get a drop, I can push that drop to my peoples. And I didn't even say, give me a drop over the phone, I mean, like on the radio. I said, just give me a drop. And then I could push the drop to my people and be like, yo, dude, said he coming, man. Come on, let's get this bread up and get it to him. Because I do know we all need money, homie. You feel me? But you got to remember, I don't got the money. But I do got people out here that could probably help us get the money for him. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it was so many different avenues that I was trying to tell her, listen, we could do it like this. We could do it like this. We could do it like this. And she keeps saying, well, just, just send the money over the wire. Just send the money. Just send the four grand and then we can talk about it. Just send the four grand plus writer. Just, I said, writer, I don't even know about a writer. I don't, I, cause I'm not in the music game. You feel me? So I was like, man, I don't know nothing about all that extra stuff. Ain't no sense in sending no damn money and then talking about it. Like, exactly. You need to talk about it before you send the money anyway. Exactly. 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 You know? Exactly. So look, let, I, you know, I'm gonna try to get this worked out and, and see what we can do to make it happen. And um, I'll give Montana this afternoon after I get with X. Yeah. Talk to him about it. Um, yeah. Man, I appreciate that, Jason. Thank you so much, man. All right, man. Sounds good. Take care. You too. Peace. Still want to tell me I ain't doing my work? You spoke to him.